Each of us knows what Bluetooth is and how to use it, but did you know that a Viking king 1,000 years ago inspired its name and logo? Known as Harold Blatant Gormson in Danish or Harold Bluetooth Gormson in English, King Harold ruled Denmark from 958 to 986 AD. Despite his name being given to a well-known technology, the history of Denmark's first Christian king remains largely unknown to most people. What legends about him are still told to this day? How did the King of Wild Vikings push Scandinavia closer to the rapidly developing medieval Europe? What legacy did he leave behind? How did he manage to convince fervent pagans to forget about Thor, Odin, Valhalla, and believe in a new god? And did he succeed at all? Harold I. Bluetooth was an outstanding ruler during the Viking Age, who ruled in Denmark and Norway in the late 9th to early 10th century. His reign coincided with the period of active Viking activities, when Scandinavian warriors raided various territories and established contacts with other cultures through trade and colonization. During this period, Vikings were known for their daring sea voyages and military exploits. They traveled on their longships, Viking ships, and conquered territories in different parts of the world including northwestern Europe, the British Isles, as well as distant lands such as Iceland, Greenland, and even parts of North America. Harold I was one of the great Viking rulers. He united numerous Norwegian kingdoms into a single state and conducted many successful military campaigns, establishing his influence in the Scandinavian region and beyond. Harold was the son of Gorm the Old, the King of Denmark, and Thyra, who was nicknamed the Saviour of Denmark. He was born around 930 AD. In 958 AD, Harold succeeded his father as the ruler of an extensive kingdom, which encompassed present-day Denmark, parts of Norway and Sweden. Like his father, Harold belonged to the Gelling dynasty. Successive kings of this dynasty formed the Kingdom of Denmark, making it one of the most powerful kingdoms in Northern Europe in the 11th century. At the peak of its power, its territory stretched from Northern Norway to England. Harold Bluetooth's sister, Gunhild, Mother of Kings, earned her nickname for giving birth to seven children and was married to King Eirik Bloodaxe of Norway. Eirik's own brother, Harkon Rissamessa the Good, overthrew his rule, after which he engaged in prolonged warfare with Eirik's sons. Gunhild and her sons fled from Norway to Denmark to Harold, who in turn raised his nephews as his own children. In one of the battles against Eirik's sons, Harkon Wine the Good was fatally wounded and died. Harold II Greyhide, as the eldest of the sons, was proclaimed King of Norway. However, his rule was marked by bloodshed. He constantly waged wars against other kings and jarls, which displeased Harold Bluetooth. In 970, Harold Bluetooth invited Harold Greycloak to Denmark, promising to give him as a gift the fiefdoms that he and his brothers had previously owned. Hesitating for a moment, suspecting a trap, Harold Greycloak sailed to Jutland with three warships. Upon learning of this, Harold Bluetooth sailed there with nine ships. A battle ensued between the two Haralds. The Norwegian king fought in the front lines and was killed along with the majority of his people. Thus, Harold Bluetooth also became the king of Norway. At that time, Christianity was spreading in Scandinavia. Like the ancient Germans of an earlier period, the Vikings adhered to the traditional Germanic Scandinavian religion, now known as Asatru, with regular sacrifices. 
Christianity spread primarily thanks to the support and encouragement from political rulers at the head of society. To gain control over the north, Frankish emperors encouraged missionaries, especially from the archbishopric located in modern-day Germany. Otto the Great, the king of the East Franks, and the Holy Roman Emperor in the mid 10th century threatened to expand his territories beyond the Danish borders. His first step was to establish bishoprics in Denmark, and Harold's cooperation helped the Danish church maintain its independence. Harold wanted to maintain the trust of his people and ensured a smooth transition from paganism to Christianity without forcing them to abandon their old beliefs and traditions. The conversion of the Danish king to Christianity occurred around 965 AD. This is evidenced by a gold disc weighing 25 grams, discovered in 1841 in the crypt of a destroyed church. The Danish king Harold Bluetooth is mentioned in the inscription on this disc. The inscription was later translated as Harold Gormson, King of the Danes, Scania, Jomsborg, City of Oldenburg. The Chronicle of Widukind, dating back to around 970, tells the legend of how Harold ordered the rejection of the old gods. In the Chronicle, it is written that during a feast in the presence of King Harold, a dispute arose regarding the worship of their gods. A certain priest named Popo proclaimed that there is only one true God, the Father, his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. King Harold asked if Popo wished to demonstrate this faith by example. The king ordered a very heavy piece of iron to be heated in a fire and demanded that the priest carry this red-hot iron to demonstrate his Catholic faith. Without fear, the confessor of Christ, Popo, seized the iron and carried it as the king commanded. Then the priest showed everyone his unharmed hand, thus proving his Catholic faith. As a result of this event, King Harold became a Christian and decreed that worship should be directed only to God. Despite Widukin's religious betrayal, Harold may have been simply politically motivated to convert to Christianity and prevent the invasion of the Roman German emperor into Denmark, using the crusade as a pretext. The clerical culture developing in the Holy Roman Empire and the sanctification of the emperor may have also made pagan rulers more interested in conversion as a means to gain more power. Belonging to Christianity in the 10th century was a mandatory condition for any state wishing to participate in international politics, and Harold emphasized the political transition from a pagan world and mentality to Christianity. Most likely for some time, both faiths coexisted, with, for example, the Vikings believing in Christ but preferring Thor while at sea. After many years of political success and establishing strong authority over extensive united territories, the reign of Harold Bluetooth was ended by a rebellion led by his son Swain. The latter, along with some unfortunate aristocrats, forced the king into exile in the 980s. Harold settled somewhere in the southern part of the Baltic. Harold died shortly after his exile. According to later sources, the exiled king was killed by an archer while relieving himself. What an end for the great Viking king! Even the location of his grave remains unknown. Swain undoubtedly played his part in the loss of information about his father's life. Only in our time has Harold been rediscovered, first by the Danes who saw him as a key figure in their national history, and then by others thanks to a new revolutionary technology named in his honour. Mentions of the Bluetooth appeared only two centuries after Harold's death. During his reign, the king was undoubtedly known as Harold Gormson, son of Gorm. Wilhelm of Abelholt, a French church figure who moved to Denmark to help restore religious discipline in the Roskilde diocese, was the first to explain King Harold's blue tooth.
In his Genealogy of Danish Kings, written in the second half of the 12th century, Wilhelm described Harold's tooth as dark blue, almost black. However, the origin of the tooth color remains unknown. It's possible that Harold had a decayed tooth that was particularly noticeable. The absence of health and dental care at that time meant that bad teeth were a common occurrence, even among members of the royal family. Some offer a less gruesome explanation for Harold's nickname. Scandinavians are very fond of berries, a variety of wild fruits widespread in the northern lands. Perhaps Harold particularly liked blueberries, and because of this, his teeth turned dark. In 1997, several major communication companies such as IBM, Intel, Ericsson, Nokia, and Toshiba developed a new technology for connecting devices. The project was led by Nokia and Ericsson, two Scandinavian companies. On a windy night in a bar in Toronto, two engineers from Intel and Ericsson, who were working on the project, were drinking. They were looking for a good name to give to their new technology. During the conversation, they talked about their shared love for history. One of them mentioned a book he had just read about the Vikings, including an unusual Viking king, Harold Bluetooth. The engineers drew a parallel between Harold Bluetooth, the unifying king, and the tool they created to connect various devices into a unique network.